So I've been getting asked lately what is the meta for Warzone other than snipers. So I thought in this video I'm going to be bringing you guys the long range metas, the short range metas, the sniper metas. And just generally stuff to use uh, during the season although most guns feel trash you can still get a decent feeling weapon now the main problem with the guns in this game is there's a lot of visual shake the recoil's high and the bullet velocity is low making it difficult to shoot at range and uh, that's the reason why the car 92 was so rampant because if you used anything else you couldn't really combat it so i'm just going to run through the metas i'm going to show you the builds and also what they look like but first of all i just want to get the car 98 out the way because it is still meta so here is your car 90 build i'm going to take my camera off so i'm not blocking any of the screen on you guys and then we'll run through everything okay so here's your build for the car 98 and so let me just show you what this looks like but we see here we're getting a 965 bullet velocity which is the main thing for the car 98 and we're also pushing up the range as well uh with the sonic suppressor we do lose a little bit of range with the high velocity so it cancels out uh, the reason we go high velocity over high grain is purely for that bullet velocity uh, you can use high grain though if you want to and it's got a nice scope it's got the six point six times on it and it's simple it's a, it is a one shot to the head the firing range is just bugged out uh, if you want to as well instead of the spx you can also go for this one here the ranger uh, which gives you the triangle dot just like the original car 98 had but with that one out the way what we're going to do is we're going to start with the close range meta the submachine guns the stuff to use up close and then we'll finish off the video with the long range meta these aren't in a particularly specific order though i'll just give my opinions on them first of all we have the normal striker it's definitely not the best submachine gun to use however for sniper support it's fantastic due to its damage at range it's got one of the best damages at range out of all the smgs it's got fantastic mobility with this build as you can see it, yeah, it's got 5.5 movement speed and it's got a nice strength speed of 3.9 as well you can increase that with the stubby barrel if you want but for this one we're doing it more for sniper support if you're doing it with an ar i would argue going for the striker stubby barrel instead but it's pretty good uh it's pretty simple here's what it looks like it's nice and easy recoil to control you can pretty much beam even out at range next we've got the wsp9 the WSP9 is fantastic here's your build for this the only thing with the WSP9 is a bit annoying is it has an open ball delay but it's very it's not really noticeable uh this is what this looks like so very easy to manage recoil very easy to use next to the close range meta we got the core 45 this is the conversion kit for the core 45 pistol it's got decent movement speed decent mobility it's got an interesting uh, trait though where every time you pull the trigger it shoots you let go it shoots so you have to spam with this which some people find difficult but if you can get the hang of it it's got one of the best ttks in the game uh, it's pretty much the best ttk of all the close range meta it's just getting used to being able to spam that trigger effectively but as you can see here if you can get it down it's ttk is just you can't really contest it next in the close range meta and this is where we're looking at the top contenders i would say this is probably second place at the moment it's the fjx horus there with the conversion kit here's your build for that and if we just go into the game again nice and easy to use pretty much no recoil you can you can use this without any real struggle to be honest with you And that brings us to the Superi. Uh, the Superi's got two main builds which we'll run through. This is my go-to build, but we'll also touch on another one. And uh, this is what this looks like. And this is the gun that has the best mobility in the game. And again, low recoil, pretty beamy. As you can see here, 6.2 movement speed is just insane. Uh, you can also go for the light barrel and the jack cutthroat stock, however. And this will give you insane strafe speed. So this is more of a strafe speed build instead of a mobility build or you can just look at that strafe speed and again it is pretty beamy that takes it to nearly a five meters a second ads movement speed which is faster than some of the uh, other weapons as base movement speed which is just crazy so we're going to move on to the range meta uh, we're going to touch first on the lower contenders or the ones that are a little bit better for rebirth and then we'll touch on the ones for big map first of all we have the bp50 here's your build for the bp50 uh, it's got a decent bullet velocity 885 it's a we could extend that a bit more but uh, this is the build we're going for we're going for the casus break to get rid of any of that any of that visual recoil because we're using an iron sight that's what this looks like very beamy it's got a fantastic ttk 
The only downside with this is it's damage per mag. I'll primarily use this for rebirth. If you want to go big map, then maybe only really use it for solos or duos. Next, again, this is mainly for rebirth, so you can use it in big map people want. This is the subverter. Here's the build for this. As well as an 850 bullet velocity. Now, the site you want to use on this, like the in any of these that I do show a sight, it's personal preference. You know, use the Jackalus if you want. Uh, use the Eagle Eye. For me, I, I like the recharge on the on the subverter. I don't know why, it just feels the best for me. For you, it might not. But it's easily beamable. Once you get the hang of that recoil, it's a pretty straightforward recoil pattern. It's just slightly up to the left, slightly up to the right, and then up to the left again. So you just pull down to the right, pull down to the left, pull down to the right. If you don't like the sight on it, instead use the Motion V too heavy. And it's pretty much the same as before. Except this time using the 9 sight, I just personally prefer the sight on this one. Next we have the SVA. The SVA you want to be using in burst mode, so that shoots two bullets at a time. Here's the build for this. Again, the sight is your choice. And this is what this looks like, as you can see. Absolutely no recoil at all. Even if I don't control it and shoot at a wall, you'll see there's literally all the bullets go where you tell them to go. So next we're going to touch on the range meta that can also contend in big map. First we're going to have the hold 556. Not a huge fan of this personally, but I know some people are. So here's your build for this whole guy. And let's show you what this looks like in the game. The one downside of the Holger 556 is just for me, the damage per mag only has a 40 round mag. But if you can hit your shot, as you can see here, it pretty much insta melts anything. Next, we have the MTZ 556. It's very versatile. If you use this, you can use this on either map. Rebirth, especially Fortune's Keep, it's fantastic due to you have most of your gunfights within 50 meters. But even on big map, it is very good to use, as you can see here. Slightly slower TTK, but very beamy. There's your build for that. 900 uh, bullet velocity as well, which is really, really good. But with the um, with the 556, if you look here, this recoils also, it's very similar to the subverter. It goes up to the left, up to the right, and then, well, this time it goes straight up. But that just means you just pull down to the right, pull down to the left, and then pull straight down. And you can pretty much get all the bullets going exactly where you want them to go. Finally, for the range meta, this is definitely the most go-to for big map, is the Holger 26. This is the build I primarily use for this. If you look here, 938 bullet velocity, so it's probably got one of the best bullet velocities at the moment. And again, is also very manageable recoil. Uh, the Holger, 5 has, Holger 26 recoil is just pretty much straight up and to the right. With a little bit of wiggle, which means we just have to pull down and to the left to control that recoil pattern and pretty much make everything go where you want them to go but guys that is it that is literally the meta at the moment not really changed fingers crossed there's going to be some updates in the future to change it up and buff the range meta but for now this is all we got and make the best of it and this is these are the best guns to use i'll uh, catch you next time peace